down to his ankles to get one. But it's remarkable the passing eye that he has, and he gets it to you right where you want it. Yeah, but he gives you, he gives it to you so you can catch and finish. You don't even have to put the ball on the floor. Let's check in with Andre. Bob, thanks a lot. And talking to Marcus Johnson before this game, who was really the first point forward. He said, Andre, I don't see all of the Hawks games, but I think Trey Young passes as well with his left hand as his right hand. And when you get that type of comment from someone of Marcus Johnson's stature, it really lets you know what other folks are seeing in our young rookie. I wonder how that hits you, Dominic. Well, Marcus Johnson is one of the first point forwards I've ever played against. And I'm going to tell you something. He was a low at 6'7". And, you know, he was one of those guys who could break down any defense. So to get a compliment from Marcus is big. Marcus just had his number eight retired in Milwaukee a week or so ago. We'll get to see that in the Raptors Jesus. next Sunday. There he is. And it's well deserved. The Man, Milwaukee what a, what, a player. what a player he was. All right. OT on the line here. Brown misses. And Alex Levin on hands it. Uh, that was a quick shot. Shot the ball. Let's Let's go. Go. They may have been thinking two for one. They'll have a second. Trey going in. Puts it over. Herder to Collins. John will drive and bounce it. Trey trapped underneath. Moves to the corner. Floats it. Hits it. The Hawks go in front. Time out Milwaukee. In overtime, the Hawks lead at 134 to 133. Now Milwaukee got out of position on Don't defense. Trey using that tricky dribble to free himself up, gets the floater get on the baseline. Well, the initial defense on Deek was pretty darn good because Trey had nowhere to go down on that box. But to his credit, uh, he kept the play alive. But absolutely, I mean, you're absolutely right. But it's the tricky dribbling by him to get it out, to swing it around the horn. There's John Collins. Gives it back to Trey. Nowhere to go. You get a bigger guy. And then Frazier switches on him on the baseline. That's a pretty easy floater there. 16 assists for Trey to go with now 10 points. But Frazier gave up the baseline, and that's a no-no. And Trey Young delivers the clutch shot. Maybe that's the game winner. The Bucks have the ball with 6.6 left in overtime. 134. We know it. But 133. Both of these teams fought hard. It really gave them themselves a chance to win here. But the Hawks have a chance with a stop to walk out with a very big win over a good team. Well, 267 points have been scored in this game, and the fans are yelling defense. 6.6 .6 to play in OT. Jesus. George Hill. Lays it in. Good hands by Pepperi. Brown gets away, puts it up and in. Wow. And Milwaukee goes up by one. Timeout Atlanta. Initially, great defense, and Bembry nearly poked it away from him. But Brown recovered and takes it to the glass. He's got 27, and the Bucks go up 135 to 134. Uh, this is just a determined play here. Almost gets the steal, but he goes right to the rim. I mean, this is a physical shooting guard here. Brown just goes hard at the rim, which he's been doing all night long. And Bembry trying to catch up with the play from behind. And the Bucks take the lead at 135 to 134. Sterling Brown with 27 points. He's hit five threes in this one. He'll travel to Texas tomorrow. Join you Tuesday night from San Antonio when the Hawks take on the Spurs. Free game coverage of Hawks Live begins at 8 Eastern time at 8.30 tip on the front end of a back-to-back. -back. Hawks will return to State Farm Arena on Wednesday night to meet Philadelphia. Well, the Hawks have one more crack at it here, trying to win the game in overtime. Both clubs have used their timeouts. Bucks 
Come out and deploy defensively. Hawks have a chance to get a, a shot off. And if there's a non-shooting foul, the Hawks will go to the line. Milwaukee over the limit. Hawks spread the floor. Kevin Herter, the man to get him in. And Tony Brown reminding DJ Wilson he cannot come over that line. Crowd standing. Herter gets it in. Kevin looking. Lob to the basket. Poked away. Trey! play. Trey ends up with the basketball. After the video review. See for ourselves. Poked away by Lopez. Trey picks it up. Hanging in midair. Got it to his right hand. Beats the buzzer. And then after two bounces, three, it falls in. And Atlanta wins it in overtime. The basket 